Innovation is not difficult because of technological limitations. Innovation is challenging because in a cluttered environment, only sensory details and hooks that trigger important emotions will effectively catch eyeballs and hearts. We all know that the enjoyment of a product, no matter whether it's food, clothes, cars or mobile phones, is not simply a functional experience. The taste and texture the style, the design of the headlights and the sound of the door closing. Those cues are extremely powerful in activating emotional associations. And it is those associations, often subliminal, that then drive purchase behavior. Our client, a famous chocolate brand, decided to enter a niche with high growth potential at the time, the multi-ingredient chocolate snack segment. Our client's brand dominated the pure chocolate market with its classic bar design and which had come to promise the emotional experience of smooth and self-indulgent moments. Given this brand equity, should an extension into snacks follow similar design cues? Brand protectors said yes, of course, but what about the customer experience? Applying research techniques around metaphor, visual as well as narrative thought, we discovered two critical things. Firstly, the emotional experience of chocolate snacks differs fundamentally from that of pure chocolate. Second, product sensory cues, its appearance, form and texture have a direct impact on the emotional expectation as well as experience during consumption. The conclusion was clear. The classic bar format, though an iconic equity element of the brand, would not work at all in the snack segment. This is because the format of the bar, with its robust appearance, cues the predictable and stable feel of a container or a holder, and this psychological frame makes the pure chocolate experience entirely different from chocolate snacks. For the latter, we identified the emotional frame of a mysterious and unpredictable journey. A journey that is totally unpredictable and therefore full of new possibilities. All dimensions of our exploration of the customer's subliminal experience revealed this insight. The visual cues, the metaphors above and below the surface, and of course the personal narrative that shapes people's relevant experience. So how did we translate this into product and pack design? Here is an example. As one of the several cues for this journey frame, the box filled with chocolate snacks contains a few pieces in distinctly different colors and flavors in order to enhance the changeable and unpredictable feel. More importantly, the overall pack shape itself builds on the metaphorical concept of a pyramid activating corresponding associations of an unpredictable and mysterious journey once you enter. The composition of the snack's ingredients is equally designed to replicate the tactile sensation of a journey in the mouth, with teeth and tongue coming across different textures and taste notes rolling in unpredictable but interesting waves and the emotional journey frame gets further activated. Clearly, understanding subliminal emotions with scientific tools is critical to kickstarting the innovation process along the right tracks. The mind's various associative and narrative dimensions provide ample inspiration to the innovator to not only help differentiate the product from the competition, but to stimulate key emotional experiences and drivers in the customer, so that the product becomes an offer that no one can refuse. Cueing product segment experience by emotional frames is an effective strategic tool. For one, to allow the brand to credibly extend into different segments, even to create new territories, and without hurting its core established equity. And secondly, to differentiate the product lineup by subliminal and emotional experience frames, rather than just by taste or functionality.